hello everyone and uh, welcome to this video so far what we have done we have copied the quarterly data of 2017-18-90-20-21 we copied only the first three quarters of each year fourth quarters data we have to calculate based on the annual data okay because fourth quarters income statement is not given in the quarter report it is given in the actual annual report and in the annual report total annual data is given so we have three first three quarters data total data is given in the annual report including the fourth quarter so what we can do we can now calculate fourth quarter annual data minus first three quarters will give us fourth quarter so let me tell you how do we do that come on to this next sheet annual income statement here i'll first create my uh, basic format so i'll type 2017 here equal to 2017 plus 1 till 2020 this is going to be our historical data then till 2026 this will be our forecasted data select this and then go to home give it a color something like this text will be white select 2017 to 2020 control 1 custom and type 0 a here a stands for actual 2021 to 2026 control 1 custom select this 0 e e stands for expected projected or forecasted whatever you want to say that now i'll go to the annual report in 2021 annual report is not available on the day when i am preparing this financial model so fourth quarter data will be projected but 2020's annual report is available so let me open this this is 10k december 2020 open this and how do i find my balance sheet control f shortcut is uh, keyword to find the balance sheet is total asset in case you don't find your balance sheet with the total asset type current asset So this is our balance sheet and this is consolidated balance sheet okay so maybe one page above this balance sheet or below this page you will find income statement uh, what is this this is a comprehensive income statement this is not our balance sheet this is not our income statement come page one above yes i think this is our income statement okay so 2020, 2019, 2018, this three years of data is available. So what I can do, I can simply copy this, come to income statement and paste the data in this column. Now we also need the line items. So I can go back, hold on to alt button and uh, using your mouse, select the column that you want to copy and come here, paste it adjust the column width like this you can change this to just non-controlling interest because the text in the cell was too large so i just changed the item now 2019 select this column copy come here and paste it here select this copy come here and paste this also net income i did not copy last time so i can copy it now and paste it here this net income is net income before minority interest this is minority interest this is net income after minority interest if you do not understand the concept of minority interest then you should check my theory videos i have explained the concept of consolidation of parent with subsidiary parent with joint venture in the in that video so you should check it and this is an important concept that you should know before you start proceeding with the financial modeling now ebit will actually be calculated so put in the formula here equal to sales minus cogs minus sgna so 1706 without formula also it was 1706 after the formula also it is the same data now come here in income before income tax so equal to operating income minus interest expense plus 
this cell. So it was 1329 before the formula and after the formula also it is 1329. Then come here 1344 this value minus this value plus this value 1344 1264 it was earlier also and after the formula also this is the same value. Now select this net income minus minority interest control R. Now all the values which are put manual I want to color them light. So select this control G special constant. So it will select only those cells which can are entered manually which does not have the formula so click ok now home tab select the test color something like this light blue color shade so my data has been entered for the last three years you have to enter this data also to 2017 so i'll open my 2017 annual report which is available here this 10k december 2017 open this Control F, total asset, this is your balance sheet, this is comprehensive income statement, we don't need that, yes this is the income statement which we need. So this is my data, you can simply copy this, come to excel, annual income statement and paste it here. Now copy this formula and paste it here, copy this formula, paste it here, copy this formula, paste it here, copy this formula also and paste it here. Minority interest in 2017 is not there, you just check it here, it is given 0 and type here also. If you go to the quarterly income statement also, there is no minority interest in this year. Minority interest started coming from 2018 only. Now uh, what we need to do, put in a formula here equal to come to annual income statement. This is our total sales minus total sales of first three quarter and you will get fourth quarters net sales. So come to quarterly income statement and select these three bracket close enter select it till now or copy this formula and paste it here also uh, this is not correct so we have to go back to annual income statement our dividend is not given here so that's the reason we are getting minus figure here so what we need to do now uh, we have to first go to our annual income statement and copy the total dividend there. So let me just open my 2020 December annual report and find my dividend here. Yes, this is statement of change in equity. This is the dividend for 2017, 762, come here, go to annual, put 716 here, then 769 for 2018, just a second, this dividend which I have written 762, this belongs to the year 2018. So let me cut it and paste it here come back 769 here and 780 782 here 
now for the dividend of 2017 we need to go to the annual report of 2017 we will go to statement of changes in equity this is this so where is the dividend right the dividend is 736 736 so this is the total dividend what we have to do we have to color it light and we also need to format this column also so what you can do simply copy this and alt e s t format okay now come here copy this formula and paste it here so we are getting our 186 of dividend now if you want you can keep the formula like this which is actually calculating the operating income based on the annual minus last uh, three quarters of operating income or what you can do you can calculate operating income here like this okay so you can drag this formula down or you, you can drag this formula right both will give you the same numbers so control r control r control r why we are doing it this way we are doing it this way because we want to keep the formulas constant across the column you, we should not do it like this that in this column we have different formula and in this column we have different formula for same calculation right so this is net income after minority net income minus minority net income after minority so in this also we should have that same formula net income minus minority net income after minority you will get now let me tell you how do we do for this case equal to annual income statement of 2018 sales minus sum of first three quarter of 2018 only so you have to be careful about this select this bracket close enter now control d copy this and paste it here so let us do it for remaining quarters and then we will check whether the data that we are calculating here is right or wrong okay now equal to annual income statement 2019 minus sum quarterly income statement first three quarters bracket close enter control d copy this and paste it here come back here again uh, come to this column equal to annual income statement of 2020 take net sales minus sum quarterly income statement select this bracket close enter then control d copy this and paste it here now uh, i have to correct the formulas for ebit so what i can do select this control r simply for income before income tax right select this control r net income select this control r net income after minority select this control r okay now formulas across the columns are coming correct right so what we have done till now we have only copied quarterly income statement of last 4 years and we also have the annual income statement of last 4 years so let us begin in the next video and understand how do we forecast the data so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video